just thought I'd do a quick little review um, after this training session, just a quick chat about it to, to give you guys an update on the progress, how it felt and everything. Um, obviously if this is something you're not that interested in, then you can just skip past this part of the video, or just stop the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to start giving a quick little recap because last night's session felt really, really good. Um, there was a great atmosphere in the gym just to start off with, so thanks to Steve and Vanessa and everyone at Top Strength. Um, you know, garage doors were open, the music was going, and for some reason there just seemed to be like that atmosphere in the air, which I do think be, um, helps a lot. Because I did actually try um, doing this max effort lower session at home um, on Monday. And it's really weird because, you know, here I end up doing a 197 kilos or 435 pounds um, beltless for one rep. And when I actually tried having the doing the session on Monday, um, I got 165 kilos for one rep uh, beltless. And then I tried to do it again because it was so tough. I tried to do it again with the belt on and I couldn't even get it up off the floor. Now, in hindsight, I do put a lot of that down to food probably. I just don't think I was fueled and everything correctly for that day. But atmosphere has a lot to go in it as well. Um, so, yeah, so thanks to everyone at Top Strength for that. Um, yeah, deadlifts went great. I finished off with 197 beltless, which I think is the most I've ever done beltless. Um, yeah, I think before then, the most I'd done beltless was 180 kilos. Um, so yeah, I did 345 pounds, which is 197 and a half kilos. Um, yeah, you, I put the last two sets building up in there. I didn't bother with all the others beforehand. Um, I was a little bit hesitant again because I had that bad session on Monday, you know. Um, so I made a few smaller jumps. Uh, I started at like... Well, I went up to, uh, instead of going from 140 to 160, or 165, I went like 150, 165, and then to um, four plates aside. So, um, the front squats felt great as well. Um, it felt nice and low. It's been a long time since I've done front squats. This is only the second week I've been doing them for, you know, for the first time in like probably a year or more. Many avoided them because of my elbow, but um, I really want to work on the quad strength and stuff. Um, supersetting them with the RDLs, they were tough. Not so much for the legs and the glutes, um, but more my back and my um, like my lats and my grip. Um, I think because I supersetted them, it was just burning me out of energy throughout. So. Hopefully next week they will get better and my grip and lats will improve. My lats still hurt quite a bit today because um, I'm doing this the day afterwards. I didn't mean to do it when we got back home from the gym, but we had other things to um, take care of or to attend to. So, um, yeah, I do feel like I've been run over a bit by a truck today. <laughs> um, particularly the lats, which is quite rare for me. I don't tend to do deadlifts and low back workouts now the lats hurt or feel as sore as what they are. Um, but yeah, I was glad I managed to fit everything into this session. Got to do my single leg leg presses as well, trying to work on the grip for that right, right quad because I feel like there is a bit of an imbalance there. Um, the pain in my left quad, the damage in my left quad didn't seem to affect me a whole lot yesterday either, um, which I'm pleased that, very pleased that. Um, and yeah, you know, even got to throw in a few donkey calf raises. Because, you know, chicken legs have got to work the calves too. So don't ever be missing them out. Um, but yeah, all in all, this was a great one. Everything just seemed to flow. Everything just seemed to be in place. Um, the vibe was good. My food was good. I'm just hoping that we can keep this carrying on. And certainly my heavy bench session on Saturday will follow the same kind of suit. Seeing as that has been sucking a little bit recently. Right, that's enough rambling from me today, so don't forget to check out the donate link in the video, 
please help me with this great cause, um, raising money for Hope Kids through the Relent Relent Relentless Charity. <laughs> I help us spread hope and change the lives of children. At the end of the day, this is what it's all for. That's what I'm doing all of this for, all of these recordings, all of these videos for right now. Um, so yeah, help me help other people um, and make a difference to the world.